Hey guys, this is Mobile Tech Point. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the latest version of Android Oreo 8.1.0 on your Samsung Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge. Let's begin. Before we start, you need to have a rooted phone with TWRP recovery installed. If you have not rooted your phone, I have a video for that. Please click on the i button or find the link in the description below. Please watch the video carefully and follow the instructions. Once you are done, come back to this video. You need to go to XDA developers Lineage OS thread for Samsung Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge. I will leave both the links in the description below. You need to download two files. One is Lineage OS 15.1 ROM file and the other one is OpenG apps. Both the files are zip files which you are going to flash in TWRP recovery. Now copy these two files into your phone's SD card. This is important because we are going to wipe the internal storage. Now turn off your phone, then press and hold volume up, home and power buttons all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. Once you are in TWRP recovery, click on wipe, format data and type yes to erase internal storage. Then go to advanced wipe, select Dalvik cache and cache, then swipe to wipe. Now go to install, select Lineage OS ROM zip file, then click on add more zip and select OpenG apps zip file, then swipe to flash. Once the flashing has been done, click on Reboot System. Please make a note that initial boot may take up to 10 minutes to complete installation process. So please be patient. Now the phone has been booted up. Let's flash Magis zip file to have root access. Turn off your phone. Go to recovery mode again. Go to install, then select Magis zip file, then swipe to flash. Now reboot system. Now the phone has booted up and let's verify root access. As you can see, it works fine. Android Oreo 8.0 ROMs were available for Samsung Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge from two months. But those ROMs were not stable enough for regular usage. This is a stable ROM with all the audio features seems to be working. Camera performance is good. Calling, Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth are working perfectly fine. Gaming performance has been good and there are no heating issues so far. Sound quality is good. Battery performance is also decent for regular usage. Overall, this is a stable ROM and I would recommend you guys to try it. If you like this video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to Mobile Tech Point for more tech videos. And also click on that bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video and stay updated with technology. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I'll be happy to answer them. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, peace.